Hi everyone, this is Talia and Miana, and we will be reviewing a manga for once. So there, this is a new manga that came out not too long ago, and it's a romance shoujo with like sports kind of on the side uh, kind of manga. But uh, don't expect too much sports, I'm just gonna say that already. But um, it's a new one and it's called uh, Harimatsu uh, Bokura. And Bokura. Yeah, and it's uh, yeah, it's just a new one and it's fresh and we just want to talk about it and tell you our first impressions and it's going to be from chapter one till five. So like first volume, uh, there's already six chapters out though, but and we already read the sixth chapter, but we're just gonna do like first volume, good first impression and you guys can see whether you will read it or not. So <laughs> yeah. Where do you want to start with this? All right. Um, so I I read the synopsis again just to be like refresh my mind. And when I read it, I was like, it I don't know. It comes off as not how the series is for me. So I'm I'm just gonna read it real quick. Um, so on my anime list, it yeah, says. Go for it. Um, Mizuki cannot readily open her heart to anyone, but she is going to turn over a new leaf in high school and change that. But how can she get along with a good-looking group of four, especially with rumors at school about how they met? Uh, although cautious at first, she gradually gets to know their true personalities, a story about good-looking men and the insanity of youth. <laughs> I don't know if you have thoughts about that or not. <laughs> Yeah, it, it also doesn't come off to me as, as like what I was expecting because mm -hmm. I actually didn't read the synopsis before I started reading the manga. I just heard that it had like shoujo elements and basketball and I was like, cool, I'm going to read it. Sold. <laughs> also, I had seen like a picture of, of the art style and it looked nice, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to read it. But it's not really as much about like the four guys or whatever no. it's it's much more shoujo element you have the main male protagonist and the male girl protagonist the other guys are just like there to the side they're like the friends because they're a basketball team that's all yeah exactly and then we have that friend of the main character who is called nanachan and she's kind of like the person who made them like introduce uh, them to each other because that was actually <laughs> How they met, like the two mains, was kind of awful. It was like the basketball team getting to to the main character, like the girl, and being like, "Oh yeah, someone has to confess to you," and they're like, "No, it's not you. Sorry." <laughs> they didn't even say sorry. They were pretty mean about it. <laughs> yeah, they were like, "It's not this girl. She's super average." <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I was like, "Whoa, what the fuck?" I actually liked that when they put that in there. Because it kind of shows you like how the guys are, but if you read further on, you see how they kind of like change as well yeah. because they get to know her. You have kind of a, a brash first impression, in which you go like, okay, yeah, and then like as they as they show a little bit more, you get to see like the playful and friendly side of them. But mm -hmm. I also think that as far as we've seen, there's not a lot of development for those characters i mean it's only one volume but you have yeah. that time skip mm -hmm. in which like they start going to the cafe in which the main girl works at and then suddenly like a semester or whatever passes and they they have been friends for like i don't know how long and you're like how did that really happen <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I think that's kind of like the downside of this manga as well. Like I'm like now with chapter six, like I was really enjoying it because we know what happened already. But like when you just start reading it and you see that time skip, you're just like, wait, how how did they even get closer? And especially like the two main characters, like what what happened? But we did see some like development for those two when they yeah. got like their phone number and all that stuff and to walk home and all that. But it's still, it's still like not enough. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's still pretty heavily shoujo, so I'm pretty sure that as the volumes go on, we're going to get a lot more of those two, but not not necessarily the other characters. I don't think we're going to to get to know much about them. Yeah, I don't think so either. Like, it's it's probably only going to be about Ayachan and the two main characters. 
yeah. um, which which is a uh, also a weird thing maybe <laughs> if you don't know about Aya Chan, but it's like a, a childhood friend. That, that would and... be kind of a spoiler if if we told everything about well, yeah. that character. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna say it's a childhood friend that comes back, so you'll just have to see whatever happens with yeah that person. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Uh, another thing that I thought hasn't been focused enough is really like the relationships between the guys themselves. Because even if you don't explore the guys and her their relationship with, with her, you can still like make them bond more. Mm -hmm. And I think that would work. Because I, I don't even know the names of the guys all that much. Yeah, me neither. It, they are really not necessary at this point. Yeah. So um, I'd like to see more of that. Yeah, but I do too. like I do like the main characters, even though like they're they're nothing particularly new, but but it's still nice to read about them. I'd yeah, say. that's true. And like Asa Asakura is like a mix of Ko and Haru. <laughs> <laughs> like when I saw that, I guess so. Um, well, he's not he's not as his personality isn't as strong though. No, and he's not as mean either. I'm just yeah. yeah that either but he is like the typical sports guy who mm -hmm. is really focused on basketball but he's also like this this lazy guy who sleeps a lot and all that so it it, it does have funny moments with him and also like slightly shy that's yeah. basically his personality mm -hmm. so yeah he's as i said he's very typical but it's not particularly bad that he's very typical yeah, exactly. And he can actually make some jokes about it as well, about him being shy, which I yeah. enjoy. Um, and then we have, like, Haruno, the girl. She is, she's kind of the same like him. Like, she's shy as well. Um, and she's she's not that good with, like, making friends. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, she's she's been quite... What quiet. do you think about that other girl? Um, Her friend at school. Oh yeah, the one who is fangirling all the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think she's pretty funny. I like her. Like I like it that that is the comedy, like the extra comedy kind of that is in there. So I yeah. I don't mind her. At first, I thought they were going to like make a big drama around it because you had that whole thing. You have this girl at school that is kind of a very heavy fangirl. Mm -hmm. of, of all the boys and you have there are other girls that are like that it's kind of that fan club of no one can date the boys because we all like them we all appreciate <laughs> them being amazing by themselves yeah. and we don't want to see them with girlfriends but but that girl like goes to kind of a stalkerish level with the pick <laughs> and and she she seems so threatening at the beginning that i was like either they're not going to like keep this friendship or this is going to take like a whole volume to solve mm -hmm. with the misunderstandings but it was actually very fast yeah exactly they just solved it over so like in a way it was a little bit anticlimactic because like typically shows are just has a lot of miscommunication and drags out misunderstandings for a long time but at the same time it was kind of refreshing that they didn't just go nuts over that yeah, that's true. I was so they ended up staying friends. Yeah, I was expecting some drama as well. Like, yeah. if I would be her, I would go nuts. And she already, like, we we saw in the first few chapters that our main character didn't didn't like that kind of stuff. She doesn't like people like that. And then she does get a friend like that. So I kind of got like more respect for her because she probably realize that she isn't a bad person because she is a, yeah. a fan girl and uh, she just goes with it so <laughs> I think I think that's yeah. cool I, th I think they ended up like get, being friends even though they are very different as people and that's that's also cool to see yeah and also just because the main character likes the other main character and he's on a basketball team and that girl is updated with everything from the basketball team so yeah. it's kind of it kind of works in her favor as well if you look at it that way that is true <laughs> that would be the same <laughs> to be honest <laughs> oh. But um, it's, it's just out of interest. You're making the main girl look look so 
<laughs> she isn't like that though. I promise you, she's not a no, that she's selfish. <laughs> but um. No, she's she's just pretty what you'd expect for that kind of thing. So like, based on that first volume, what would you say you think overall about the series? Like in terms, of not it doesn't have to be a number, but do you like it? Do you you don't like it? And mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna say that I like it because I'm I'm just a sucker for like romance kind of stories and when it has like sports in that as well for an extra it makes it a bit better for me but this one is like I'm not gonna say it's super good it's just enjoyable and it's above average but it's not like the best it's just very enjoyable if you like romance so far and it's only your first volume so I'm kind of expecting more to happen especially more development for the characters and all that stuff and if that does happen and like the romance development goes up like not rushed as well then I will be happy with like how it comes out yeah I'm pretty much the same it's like I wouldn't say it's it's great or anything like that it's it relies very heavily on on the cliches and type of characters that aren't particularly deep. Mm -hmm. So it's something that it's it's really fun to just shut your brain off and and read and enjoy if you're into like, the shorter kind of thing. <clears throat> Don't read it for sports though. Yeah. If you're expecting a very well balanced sports with romance elements, this is still not the thing you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And I know like. A lot of people have been asking for that kind of stuff and uh, because there are a lot of sports anime that hint at some romance elements but don't really develop those elements and there are a lot of shoujo that are picking up some sports <laughs> elements but also don't don't rely on on sports mm -hmm. and i say this is still not the balance between those two genres no. <laughs> so just go for it if you want to read uh, uh, Shoujo manga, basically. Exactly. If you want to read shoujo and, and have fun with that, you can read it. Yeah, It's not the best one out there. It's certainly not the worst. I've seen a lot worse. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's still pretty fun. So, like, if as long as you're the kind of person that enjoys that kind of series, this series could be for you. Yeah, exactly. I do, I do have the feeling, like, from the latest chapters, that there will be more sports, because they are talking about, like... Um, like the, the stuff that's going on right now I can't spoil anything but there's going to be like playoffs and all that stuff like they're gonna yeah there's there's gonna be games in, in the manga but I, I agree with that because if we have basically we have kind of a rivalry mm -hmm. going on at this point so I think that rivalry is going to, to transpose to sports so I hope they are going to, to use that more yeah me too because the game that we saw there was a game the first volume but it was just a couple pages it wasn't really about the game it was more for the people that were watching from the interpolation mm -hmm, exactly so yeah. so yeah hoping that will happen and if you if you did read this one you can just leave your thoughts in the comments what you think about it from the first volume um just make sure you don't put too much spoilers in there and all that kind of stuff for the other people who do there want aren't to all it. that many at this point no I guess that's true new, so. but there is at the end with Aya Chan and all yeah. that so we'll just yeah keep that a secret for now <laughs> also if you like this and you want like us to do first impressions for other mangas or something like that go ahead and suggest new manga old manga something like that that you'd like for us to discuss because exactly. we just picked this one up because both of us ended up reading it. Yeah, I just found it. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna look at a list of airing manga, and I saw that one. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's like it, it has basketball and guy that looks like Kobe. Miana, let's read it. <laughs> exactly. More or less how it went down. That that's exactly how it went down. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Not ashamed of it at all. <laughs> It's it's on Twitter. It went through Twitter, so that's how we decide our yeah, episodes. Yeah, it's out on the open. So, uh, anyways, uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And for the next one, we'll still see what to do. If we find time, we will still watch the movie for Steins Gate. And yeah, that will just be a surprise again for next week. So you can uh, look forward to that. Very used to it now. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, see you later. See you next time. Bye.